Hi sir. Hi, my name is Alex Kuri. Masalo. Bachelor of Science for Engineering. This video I would like to discuss three types of mandatory familiarization. One, basic safety familiarization. Two, safety specific familiarization. Three, security familiarization. This is important to control and control. Mandatory Safety, Security, and Shipboard Familiarization Training Sea parents need to keep in mind that it is important to check the expiry date on all of their STCW certificate and documents since expired certificates are not valid for service on board and cannot be acceptable. Every time you join a new ship, you need to undergo the basic safety familiarization security familiarization and ship specific familiarization training basic safety familiarization give information instruction about what to do in the case of an emergency before being assigned to shipboard duties you should receive either approved training in personal survival technique or sufficient information to be able to a Communicate with other persons on board on safety issues. B. Understand safety information, symbols, signs, and alarm signals. C. Know the procedure for man overboard, fire, or smoke detected, and abandoned ship alarm. D. Identify master and evacuation station. E. Identify escape routes. F. Locate and don't like jackets. G. Use fire extinguisher. H. Take immediately action upon encounter an accident or other medical emergency. I. Operate fire weather tight and water tight doors fitted in the particular ship other than those for hole openings. So. Basic familiarization training is different from basic safety training. Ship specific familiarization gives you the opportunity to become acquainted with the specific equipment you will be using. And ship specific watchkeeping, safety, environment protection, and emergency procedures and arrangement, you need to know the perform any assigned duties properly. This training should be completed at the earliest possible opportunity after joining the ship. Security familiarization is a new requirement for oil crew in compliance with the provision of the ISPS code and will usually include measures to take in the event of a piracy or armed robbery, threat or attack. This training will require you to take part in security related emergency and contingency procedures. You will also be required to have security awareness training and if you have designated security duties, further competence in these task duties and responsibilities. All types of familiarization instruction are to be given by a responsible person on board the ship, normally an officer, and must be delivered in a language that you are able to understand. They can take place at the same time. No certificates are given for completing the familiarization instruction. But the master or responsible officer should make a signed entry in the ship. Logbook stating when the safety familiarization training and ship specific familiarization was provided. You should also keep a record of it yourself and keep it together with your documents. In addition, to the familiarization instruction. It is very important that you take every opportunity to familiarize yourself with the equipment used to perform your function as well 
as all safety and emergency procedures.